Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial video. In our today's video, I will go over how to convert a single shape file into a raster file by using Python. So let's get started. So before starting, I would like to clarify that I'm gonna use, so in previous videos, we converted this raster file to a um, shape file by using Python. So this raster file um, is the line use line cover uh, for New Jersey. So in this case, in this tutorial, so I'm gonna use the output shape file, and I'm, which is this one over here, it's located in this folder, and I'm gonna convert this shape file into a raster. Okay, so first thing first, we need to create a Jupyter notebook. I'm gonna name it shape file to raster. And over here, I'm gonna import OS. So this will be, um, I'm gonna put it here, location of the folder that we are gonna work, uh, that we're, we're gonna use. So all the files will be in, inside that folder. So OS chdir. Over here, we need to import put the location of the folder. In this case, this one is the location of the folder. So I'm gonna just copy and paste it over here. As you can see over here, this is the folder that contains the shape file. And uh, this is the Jupyter notebook that we just created. Okay, let's run this. So now what, I, what I'm gonna do is um, let's read the shape file. So I'm gonna create a title reading um, shape file using your pandas so escape m to convert this into a text cell mark that mark down cell i'm gonna import some libraries your pandas as uh, gpd and also i'm gonna import matplotlib pyplot as plt I would like to save the images in this Jupyter notebook so I'm gonna put matplotlib line and let me do one thing I am going to it's over here Perfect. So now I'm going to create a new variable called shapefile and I'm going to um, use the function read file from uh, geopandas to read the shapefile. So over here I'm going to put the location. So if we go to the folder, it's the shapefile is inside, it's inside the, this folder over here. So the name is output shape file. It's this name of the folder, and then let's put the name of the file, which is the same one. Output shape file. We are reading the shape file, so that shp. Okay, so once the shape file is read by uh, GeoPandas, we are gonna explore what is inside the shape file first. Okay, so as you can see, the first column is the index. So by the way, with the head function, I should be able to get the first um, four, um, five rows. The first column is the index. The second column is contains the ID um, the ID, which is um, each of the numbers in this row represent a specific land use, land cover category, and the geometry, which is a polygon that um, basically uh, represent that specific land use, land cover, that specific class. So in our case, we are going to um, uh, convert all of this polygon into a raster, and this over here will be the um, 
like the attribute that we are going to to um, to focus on when we are gonna make the conversion. Okay, so before doing the conversion, I would like just to make a plot. So plt, I'm gonna use map.lib. To um, take a look at, I would like to take a look at um, to the uh, or in a shape file. So I'm gonna use shape file. I'm gonna call the shape file. I'm gonna use plot over here. Ads equal to ads. The column that I'm gonna plot will be the classes, which is it's called here ID. I'm gonna use a color map uh, and a specific one, which is called jet. And over here, I'm gonna specify that I would like to take a look at the legend. Okay. So um, also, yeah, just to to be clear, I'm gonna put the specify jet is name the names of the axis latitude and i'm gonna do the same things just copy and paste and for this one will be uh sorry 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 uh longitude latitude this one will be y and over here show so it's gonna take um okay Take a look at um, so plots. So it's a large uh, shape file, so it's gonna take some time to make the plot. Okay, so once um, it finalized, so you can see over here the output image, which is the um, the plot of the shape file. And as you can see, this is the distribution of the line used line cover. Um, over New Jersey and uh, over here you can see the legend so so now we're gonna um, convert this um, shape file into a raster so I'm gonna create this title so I'm gonna let me put this reading shape um, file and um, converting shape file into raster by uh, using gdal library so in this case we need to import so from os geo we need to import some libraries that we're going to use to do this the first one will be gdal ogr so not only gdal um, so i should correct the, the title OGR and OSR. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, um, so we can either, we need to know the attribute, uh, sorry, the column name of the attribute that we're gonna focus on in the shape file, um, because in in the moment that we're going to convert the shape file into a raster, each of the grid we need to assign a value, and the value will be. Um, so the, the specific value that is is that was storage in the shape file. So in this case is the ID um, the ID column that we're gonna use. Um, however, we can use we can um, use this library over here to get the name. So let me type this code. So if you don't want to use your pandas or, or if you have some problems using your pandas, you can also use this. So uh, we're gonna use o uh, o sorry gr to open the shape file. It's going to sorry copy and paste this um, or here. So this is the folder that is located the shape file and the shape file. Okay, so let me 
also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create this source layer input shape file shape file so I'm gonna basically get the layer all the layers that is inside this shape file <clears throat> and then I'm going to uh, take a look at to each of the column names that are inside that um, shape file basically I'm take a look at to the attributes so we already know that is ID but let's use um, OS, uh, OSR, OGR, and GDAL to, to get uh, to um, get those names or get the name. Um, so let's for here whatever name um, source layer. And over here we need to um, so from this gonna use this we are going to get all the layers definition all the layers that were defined and then we're going to create um, a list so we're gonna save all the um, attributes names into this list over here then I'm gonna create a for loop in range so we call this dfn get field um, count so with this we basically so if we run this code we should get um, a number so how many columns are in the shape file we already know that there is just one uh, the geometry column is not count then what we need to do let's create this fan and we're gonna extract all the columns name so get field So it should be n. And over here, we are going to save that name of the column in this list. So append. And over here, I'm going to just copy this. Append. And name. So if I run this code, I made a mistake in the should be get get field and now if I print this so we should be able to take a look at to the ID so you can either take a look at to the attribute uh, column by using um, pandas or using uh, writing these lines over here so using these three libraries um, so yeah so we're gonna focus in this one